What's up, guys? If you're new here, I just want to say thanks for checking out the video. If you're returning, you already know I love you. Um, had a lot of fun running this thing with these tires. Had some issues with the electronics. Can't get sorted out. Really, my motor and ESC set up in this thing right now. But um, I did a little bit of a new kind of different format. Uh, it was a lot of talking while driving. So I kind of left a lot of uncut just me driving this thing and, and seeing how it does. So you guys let me know how you like that format. I can do it more often. You know, you get to see me roll, flip, all that stuff. But you get to see some pretty cool stuff every now and then like that. So uh, let me know how you like it, and I appreciate you watching. What's up, guys? Matt here coming at you with these new DJ Crawler. 68 millimeter tires these things are huge and you can see they've got a nice stick to them so uh, you know i know once these things get dirty that doesn't really matter too much but it's usually the sign of a good compound straight out of the pack when they are nice and sticky now that one doesn't have the foam in it so you can see it's taking it forever to come back to, to normal size but this one even with the foam is pretty sticky so these, they feel awesome in hand. I mean, they feel amazing. I, I'm very excited to run these. You know, a lot of times these tires, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Like I know there's another company that's gonna come out with one just a little bit bigger <laughs> because that's just what everybody does. And pretty soon we'll be running 1.9s on these things. But, um, you know, when I got these out of the pack, I was like, man, we just keep getting bigger and bigger for these things. But I think they work pretty well on something like this. This is not a tire I would ever run on really any other build. This, the Angry Sparrow, Dementor, something like that. You know, I'm not going to go put these on anything with even somewhat of a scalish body. It remind me kind of the 1.2s from the brick edition that were basically bricks <laughs> those things are terrible but if you like that size we now have something that we can run that is basically the same size that should be pretty dang good so these come with two different type foams they come with a soft foam and a firm i guess you would say there is a pretty good difference there you can kind of tell looking at them this one's a little more open and I feel like I'm going soft all the way around now and depending on the wheels you mount these on you may want to do something I, I could actually see cutting this and using the inner part for an inner and then cutting this and using the outer for the outer and almost getting a dual stage out of it because this is pretty firm and this is nice and soft so you could almost make your own dual stage out of these with the biggish wheels, they kind of add a little support to your sidewalls with the inner foam piece that he gives us with those. And then being just a little bit larger face, they take some of the sidewall out for a larger tire like this. So I think they're going to work pretty good. You can tell these are just the foams that come with these, the soft and the inner ring foam that are on these when you get them. And I don't think we're going to have too much trouble. I mean, they'll fold, but I'm putting a lot of pressure on that. Most of the time, you're not going to have too much more than that right there. So I think they'll be all right. So we will get these mounted up, and then I'm going to go run this thing, see how it does. Uh, you know the Slayer does good, period. But uh, these tires, I'm pretty excited to go run these just to see how they do. So I'll finish getting these mounted up, and then we'll take this for a test run. Real quick before I get to the running on this, I did end up mounting these tires on the DJ Crawler 1.2 wheels. I just, I've had these wheels around. I really like the look of them flipped to the deep dish style like they are here. And um, this thing ran amazing. I did put the FMS brass inner rings in the front with soft foams and the stiffer foam in the rear. You can see I'm getting a lot of tire slide or shift there. And so I'm getting all of this bulge out the side. That's the issue I have with a lot of the wide, deep wheels. Um, I think I just need to maybe cut a little bit more of the, the inner beadlock ring on the tire because I did cut these to fit the 1.2s a little better. And all of them, but basically this one is really bulging out the side. You can see that one's really bad. 
but this one here looks good. So I think it's kind of in my cut. Maybe I cut just a little bit more on that one. So I'm gonna try that and maybe put the more firm foams up front really fast, just so you can get an idea how massive these things are. Here's a Max Smasher tire. They are basically, <laughs> they're actually a little bit taller. So it's like crawling with these things, but better uh, compound, I guess. These are pretty good, pretty soft, but definitely a better tread pattern for crawling at least. But these things are big. When I say they're big, they're big. The 64 millimeter Enjoras, just a little bit larger than those. OGRC pins, definitely bigger than those. Enjora pins, some mudslingers. It's just stuff I happen to have here. What really gets them too is just like the overall width and everything. I mean, they're just big. They're fat. Like they would work on the monster trucks. Stock AX swallows that. Stock SCX24. Big difference there. Stock FCX. And here's a scrambler. Actually, I think I have a scrambler over here that's not mounted or it's on some old wheels. Pretty big tires. <laughs> uh, I know there's a ton of other tires that we could put them up against, but just know they're big. There's the Swamp Kings. They're, they're kind of fat, like wide, like the Swamp Kings, but just taller. Pretty massive. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of a quick size comparison because I know everybody's going to want to know. I mean, you can measure them. They're supposed to be 68 millimeter, but putting them next to some different tires really kind of shows how big they are, especially when you compare them to these. <laughs> All right, so this is actually the second time... I'm shooting this first time I had some battery issues with this dinky ESC in here I cannot run a two cell battery in this thing at all it has zero punch it lags out when I punch it it takes it like a good three seconds to really do anything I mean and I'm not even exaggerating it really is um, and so I had a lot of issues and then a lot of the initial video was just me complaining um, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. The wind is blowing like 100 mile an hour, like always. So I do have a mic with a dead cat on it, but it doesn't do a lot of good sometimes. This thing, these tires are, are amazing. Just my first time out, I was blown away by how good these were. And I kind of hated that the video was, it kind of sucked. I didn't have a good mic set up, wind was blowing, lots of issues. After running the Cedar, because I just ran that in the CR18P, everything I've ran that in has been insanely smooth. I come back to this, and this setup is absolutely terrible. <laughs> like, it really is. I'd kind of gotten used to this, just like the glitchy, and you'll see it, the stutter here and there. And there's like really not a good hold. See that? Like I'm off of the throttle and it's, it's rolling like that. I just can't get the dinky and this nano bam worked out. I, I've went back and forth to the computer a billion times trying to tune this. I'm honestly just done with it. I'm just gonna put a Fury Tech in it. I can adjust it on the app and be done. Uh, I may swap the motor. I'm gonna try just putting a Fury Tech ESC with this and see how it runs. I really liked this dinky when I first put it in. I don't even remember which motor I had it paired with, but it was just, it was pretty dang good. But it does not work well with this, this setup. <laughs> you can see all the stutter I'm getting. 
these tires, I am getting a lot of tire roll. You see on that front tire how it's rolling off the rim? That's the foam, the soft foams in the front there. So I am going to change that out to the stiffer like I have in the rear. Because you can see all that tire row. It's just, I don't like that. But these tires are still really good. Let's see if I can get this first try. I doubt it. Coming at a weird angle. Yeah, I figured that. I was coming at a all sorts of crazy angle there but this thing drives like insane i mean after running some stock trucks you go back to this you realize like how hard some of these lines are when you run the stock trucks and then you go run something like this it's so much easier I like that wheel speed, but it's just so choppy. Look, you see how it stutters here and there. And if I let off the throttle, like it's gonna just roll. There's not enough drag brake with these FC axles, FCX axles. I just don't think the stinky ESC is working too well with them. I can drive it pretty smooth because I've kind of gotten used to it and I know I have to just kind of stay on the throttle in different places and I've kind of gotten used to how it's gonna react. But see that right there? That's me on the throttle just a little bit and it's just not going. And I just ran the Cedar motor in the Evo in high gear it crawls better than that. I mean, seriously, it had a better hold. I want to show you guys right here. I'm actually in high gear. And I mean, I can tell it lunges a little more, but, and you get a little stutter there, but watch the slow crawl of this in high. It's pretty dang good. And, and here's the real kicker, watch this, hold. I'm off the throttle right now, completely. Look at the hold on that. I'm not touching the throttle. Normally when you kick these things in high, they're not holding at all. I mean, you can totally crawl in high, look at that. Completely off the throttle again. I mean, you're gonna get that stutter and shake. You're in high gear, but look at that. I mean, it's still gonna do it. So I don't know if it's the SC in here or the motor. Um, I'm not a fan of the setup, period. So not, something's not working right. <laughs> I'm about to yank them both out. But this thing is pretty much unstoppable. Look at it. Like, that's insane. I don't know, a little too hard. One hand driving. I don't have the best one hand setup for the radio link yet. I printed this piece and uh, it works. But it's not like having your hand on the, the wheel. There's a line right here going up this rock this thing I mean I could not believe how easy these tires went up it which this this terrain here is pretty high grip but you can still tell a big difference in tires and it's really what I thought these tires would do well on pin tires normally do really well on surfaces like this that are kind of high grip But if you take like a uh, Swamp King or something like that on this, I've basically 
took all of my Swamp Kings off of stuff because I run on this most of the time and they just, they're not good on this. For me anyways. See if I can get around here where I need to be. I'm at a weird angle, but. Look at that. That's insane. See that right there cut out. It just cut out on me. I was still on the throttle and it just stopped. That's annoying as can be. And it kind of messed up my line, but can I save it? Yes. These tires are freaking insane. These are probably a new favorite out here. I mean, especially on something like this, just because they're huge. And they grip, they work. Let's see if we can go back up this slow, maybe. Really not much is able to slow crawl that. If I go just a little left there and hook maybe. See right there, just that just cut out on me. I didn't let off that throttle at all and it just settled back on me. Definitely taking this system out of here. This freaking Slayer is unstoppable though. Slayer with these wheels and tires, game over. I just gotta get my system worked out. I have some control. This is absolutely terrible. That's why I like the FCX axles. Look at that. Like I put it in binds like that all the time and just stay on the throttle and they just go. I do, I've never, I haven't, still haven't broke one of those CVDs. I ran this on 4S. I mean, just all sorts of stupid stuff. I sent it from the top of this mountain to the ground on 4S. Broke a couple other things, but no axle. <laughs> Man, I hate to even take this thing apart. It drives so good. Just not as smooth as it should be on the throttle. If I can hook this left front and go up this. Ooh -wee. Maybe not at that angle. Ah, see, that's just garbage. No hold at all. Getting a lot of tire slide on that rim. See how puffy it is on the outer edge? Definitely got to change that out. And see, the, the rear is keeping it, its form, basically. That's nuts that it's even doing that, but... Getting so much glitch. I could definitely snap an axle right there if I wanted to, probably. I need to vent these tires a little bit. They, uh, 
they had a little vent to them, just the way they were mounted on these wheels. So when I would press on them, they would squish and you could hear the air come out of them. So I didn't actually poke any holes in them, but probably gonna have to. That front left looks like it's kind of deformed a little bit. I was so timid on the throttle because it's so shaky. Like I can't imagine driving this with a good setup in it. <laughs> That's unreal. Saved it. Let's go. I'm trying to just hit stuff in weird angles. That's a gnarly rock right there. Snags on your axle bad. See, I wish that would hold because when I go to give it a little reverse to make it hold it, it, it pulls the chassis up and really makes it tipsy. Whereas if it would hold and I could give it a little throttle, see, it's starting to hold there. <laughs> Saved it. Almost went into the wheelbarrow. I've got to get this stuff out of the way, but I'm just been meaning to work on some more of this course and there's too much going on. These tires uh, definitely staying on this rig. This setup is unbelievable. I did order a new set already, another set, because I want these on like the Angry Bird or even the Dementor. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm talking through this entire video with the wind blowing 100 mile an hour out here. <laughs> I might have to completely delete the audio if you can't really hear this very well. I did test it and it seemed okay. But look, we, we had a trampoline right there. We had a bad storm last night and it's now way, let's see. way out there I think you can see it part of it I had to change my setup on this a little bit because I broke some stuff and when I did it's not as good as it was originally it wants to lift the right front again now whereas when I first built this thing it didn't lift at all it still climbs really good but just every now and then but this side hill stuff like it just drags the rear end around look at this
just went down that to see if I can go up it. These tires, done deal. <laughs> oh, can I make this side hill? That's pretty insane. Look, if I wasn't getting that tire roll with the front, I would be a lot better off right now. Is it gonna lose it? Don't lose it. Yeah, oh man. That's unreal. Unbelievable. So after running a pretty good bit, I took this in and switched out, put a Lizard Pro in here, trying to see how it would match up with this motor. And um, the hold on it is definitely better. It's still pretty choppy sometimes when it's in a bind, but you can see here, completely off the throttle, it holds itself. There's just really no hold, like drag brake on that dinky. Um, so I assume it works probably really good with like SCX24 stuff because the worm gears and the axles basically hold for you. But uh, it just doesn't work well with this setup with the FCX. Uh, throwing the Lizard Pro in here, it was immediately better without even tuning or doing anything. Uh, but this motor's still real choppy in binds and tough situations. Even under strain, like going uphill right here, you kind of get that little jerk. Um, I don't know. It just, after running this cedar, like that drives me absolutely insane. So, I don't know. I may try the Micro Komodo in here, switch it out. But um, it is to the point I can live with it now with the Lizard Pro in here. You'll see that was a pretty cool little maneuver using that nub at the top to spin it around. Uh, that's pretty fun, but you'll see coming back down this hill. It's got a really good hold I'm able to just kind of creep I can let off the throttle if I need to and it will completely hold itself Whereas before with the dinky if I let off it was just gone. So then I was kind of having having to hold reverse Going downhill like this which causes your chassis to kind of lift and suspension to unload and everything to loop out easier so um I can live with those setup now, but it's still not as smooth as I'm used to. <laughs> Overall, as far as these tires go, I feel like they're going to be very similar to a lot of the pins. I think I do like how they're wider than, say, like the OGRC pins. Um, those are some really good tires on areas like I'm crawling here. They struggle out in the wet or um, really loose, nasty stuff. I feel like these are going to be the exact same, basically. They're just another version of pins, really. They're not going to just take over, but they're going to be really good in certain spots. And, you know, that's one thing about tires. I've kind of stopped doing as many tire reviews because, for one, there's just so many out there now and a lot of it's personal preference due to what you're running on you know these um they're a really good compound and after switching to the the harder foam that comes with them uh they seem to be doing much better it's like that foam breaks in a little bit and it's actually pretty decent um i wasn't quite getting up this like i do sometimes but that's a very tough spot so um, it just took me a minute to kind of get it right. You can see I'm getting a lot of tremble and shake out of this motor still. Uh, I don't know. It, I mean, I could try changing the pinion on it, but there's such a pain to get the pinions off of these things because they're all press-ons. Um, I'm probably just going to swap the motor out and see how it runs on something else. I mean, honestly, I would rather just run a brushed motor than the way this thing's running right now, but... Uh, it may not fully be on the motor, so I don't want to just keep blaming it, but I did get a much better hold with this ESC than the Dinky, and uh, but I'm still just not happy with it. So next, I'm going to swap the motor, see what I get out of that. But you can see the Slayer, even when you roll the thing downhill, it's still ready to go right back up. <laughs> um, absolutely love this truck and the setup. It's just I got to get my electronics lined out. This was a pretty tough downhill right here. 
where I get in a major bind when I get to the bottom of this. The front wheels are right up against the rock I normally kind of jump over. And I was pretty impressed that it was able to get itself out of this right here. So you go down in that hole with the front and then you got to climb that. That's putting a lot of pressure on that thing. But you can see it snapped over it and then eventually he was able to get over it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think about it. Peace.